I'm back. All right, little update. Glock 19, everything's fine with it. Glock 19's okay. Put the regular factory spring back, and it's fine. Now, other than that, I've seen a lot of comments where people say, Glock got it right the first time, you don't have to put anything in it, leave it alone. Oh, really? Really? Man, there's so many experts out there, I don't know what I'd do without these people. I, uh, my channel would be a total failure if these guys weren't around to tell me what to do. That's a bunch of bullshit. I'm not saying Glock didn't get it right. If you buy a Glock and it's stock, 100%, and you don't do anything to it, you got yourself an awesome gun. There's nothing wrong with putting a steel recoil spring in there. You know, some of... There's other junk gun channels that, that are twice as big as mine, and they love Glocks twice as much, and they got all the aftermarket parts on their Glocks, okay? And these, I, I don't say names, but this one particular gun channel is a total Glock fanboy, you know, not saying it in a smart-ass way, just giving you an idea of, I mean, this guy loves Glocks. I mean, everything's Glock, and this man, has aftermarket parts on it steel guide spring rod I'm just talking to you new guys you see these other guys leaving comments don't listen to them guys okay if you want to put a steel guide spring rod in your Glock there's nothing wrong with it it's an upgrade trust me when I tell you I've been buying Glocks for years and I've been shooting them for a long time and the steel guide spring rod I never ever had a problem with it now here's the thing the only thing is, when you get a steel guide spring rod for your Glock, you have to make sure you get it from the right people. And to me, the best people to get it from is Glockmeister. Reason? They supply law enforcement with their steel guide spring rods. My local law enforcement, which is Upper Darby, which is one of the biggest townships in Pennsylvania, period. It's huge and it has a lot of high crime areas. This is some hardcore police department we're talking about. They carry the Glock 21. They carry 45s, the big Glock for their carry. That'll give you a little bit of an idea what kind of shit they gotta deal with and why they went to such a big gun. All the Glocks that they have are upgraded. How do I know this? Because I work with them every day at the gun shop and I know a lot of them. And I ask questions. So for you guys that say, uh, don't put a steel guide rod in your Glock, you'll make it unreliable. Uh, go have a bowl of cereal, all right? And do something with yourself. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Now, the mistake on the 19 was the recoil spring was not from Brass Stacker. Which to me, Brass Stacker would be my second choice. No offense against them. Glockmeister is my first choice because they've been doing it forever and they have big contracts with police departments and and competition shooters. So that's the ones you you know. So the recoil spring was not from there and it was not from Glockmeister or Brass Stacker. It was from I Love My Glock.com. Whatever. I'm not saying that company don't know what they're doing but all I know is from my experience Glock Meister if you get a rod for your Glock that's what you want to go with you want to go with them they, they're, they're proven their, their specs are probably perfect nobody has any problems so I mean if that's where the police departments and competition shooters are getting their metal rods from that's where we should get our rods from period so there was a problem with the recoil spring, yes. And it wasn't because it was a steel rod, it was because it was that particular steel rod might have the wrong spring in it. I'm so bored with this, I'm not looking into it any further. I'm not gonna sit there and call and say, do you have the right spring on your rod? No, I don't need to do all that. I already know what was the problem. As soon as I went back to the stock, I ran 100, 100 rounds of Winchester white box through it and it had and, and 50 rounds of PMC, and it had no problems. It had one little stovepipe. Now remember, 
if there was a problem with the recoil, a problem with the gun, it would have had more than one stovepipe. I'm thinking because Winchester, you know how you buy them in bulk during that 100 round box and they're all just thrown in there? They're notorious for once in a while having an undercharged round or a round that's badly crimped or a round that's squished or something or a, a round that has bullet setback. It happens. So I'm just going to, you know, that's gone from the equation. I'm not even going to consider that. So that's your update, okay? Anyway, I uh, hope that helps you. Uh, don't get confused. Don't let these internet comments snowball and, and, and make you go in a different direction because it's just not true. There's nothing wrong with putting an extended slide stop, extended takedown tabs, and extended magazine catch. They're all upgrades. They're not going to make your gun unreliable. It's a crock of shit. The one, why, the one thing Glock is most popular for is, of course, it's reliability and all its aftermarket parts you can get for it, and all the accessories for it. That's what's so awesome about Glocks. You can do so many things to them. Now, if you're a, you know, a Glock enthusiast and you're a purist and you want to keep your Glock stock, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that either. But if you're really into firearms, you like to tinker, you like to put better stuff on your gun, make it to make uh, you know, the controls more accessible, make the controls more effective and put upgraded parts on it, that's what I'm all about. And that's what thousands of people that own Glock are about. So don't listen to these, these guys, okay? Everyone's going to have a bad experience with everything. I mean, I know a guy had Ed, had an Ed Brown and it riding like shit. I know a guy had a Wilson Combat and he got a bad one. I know guys that had Glocks where their, their plastic rods broke after like 5,000 rounds. I mean, shit happens, okay? You got to... You got to look outside the box and you got to focus in on the gray area. That's the common sense area, the gray area. The gray area is where your common sense kicks in. And some people just ain't got that. They either see black or they see white. They don't see gray. I'm an idiot. If a gun doesn't run perfect, I sell it and, and trade it, you know. But I'm trying to get past that. That's something I have a problem with because especially a carry gun. And there's a lot of guys just like me. If a gun ain't 100%, they won't keep it. So... I don't know, it's just a stupid driving video, okay? Uh, my gun shop just got some uh, Glock 26s in, and uh, I can't seem to find the Ruger SR9 Compact, and I think I, well, I did, I did. I put some money down on a Glock 26. So you're probably going to be seeing a Glock 26 ne next week or next few days. Uh, it's really the same size as the SR9 Compact. It might even be a little smaller, so, hey, man, nothing wrong with getting another Glock. I don't think I ever had a 26. All right, I'll see you guys later.